Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. So, hi everyone and welcome to the MK channel. Today we are going to see beautiful things like how you can get a desired result in a single word insert and how to transfer a style from one image to other images with the help of the IP adapter. For this, we will base our work on the previous workflow and we will also use masks and so that we can get consistent results in a uniform style in a series of images. The big thing in all of this is that we will show how to automate the entire process. So let's go. This is the previous workflow with the upgrade of IP Adapter Plus. You will find all links and the workflow below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to support us. To test, I will change the prompt for a bird in a box. And like you see, we have a very good result. I like it. So, this will be the basis of our work for the final workflow. So let's take a look at that work and make some tests with it. This is the final workflow. The link is in the description. Here is the load image reference, and under it you find checkpoint, and then you find all the block for prompt, the global input, and input for the character, for background, and one for negative prompt. At last, the input for the image size. Though, then you find the third block. It's for IP adapter. This will allow us to apply the style transfer, one of the new features of the update. Then, since we use 2K samplers, I put them in a block with the masks. And at the end, I put on big image output. Though, let's cue prompt and make some test. It's tacker time. This is why I speed four times. And for a better understanding, I put three images preview. One for the image generation, the second for the mask, and the last for the final result. We have a good output images. I like it. You can play with changing prompt, weight, or images. As you see, the possibilities are infinite. Though, this is the picture we got. A very good picture in my opinion. Now, I want to have a slightly less visible chest, while keeping the same style, atmosphere, and maybe also a little melancholic as exists in the picture. As you know, this is why we use an IP adapter, and especially the style transfer. And this is what we got. Also a very good picture in my opinion, considering the small change I make on the prompt. Let's now change the prompt again and add an animal to see the effect. I want to play with prompt, as you know, to see what IP adapter and what the style transfer can do. That why a test with animal and human. But keep in mind, and according to my observation after the test, the prompt on character must be simple. This will avoid many surprises. Though, let's start at the beginning and build the workflow together. You can of course find the workflow and all the necessary links in the description of the video. We will work with the Juggernaut XL model. There is also the IP adapter set to unified loader, one positive prompt, a cyberpunk bird on nature and some reflection, negative prompt, case sampler whose various values, and of course empty latent width and height at 1024. For now, it's not necessary to fix the seed. So, I press Q prop, and this is the output. Let's now see what I do here. It's simple. I just copy the previous case sampler with the same seed and exactly the same values with VAE and preview image connected to the IP adapter, so that we can see the effect of the IP adapter on the final image. And because I have the bird in the opposite direction, I change the start at 0.25 in the IP adapter. So, now I click on Q prompt. In the meantime, let's compare the first result. 
As you can see, the IP adapter really changed the original image. Let's look at the color. It's the most affected element. That's why I said, the still transfer of the IP adapter is very sensitive to color. And now it's okay. It's already much closer. The result is really similar to the original in terms of composition, but you can clearly see the effect. Though, to prevent the indesired result, we will have to use a mask. I remind you that we want to automate this process. Therefore, we need a tool that can create a mask without drawing it manually. And for that, I will use Batch Clip Seg. This tool allows us to create a mask based on a keyword. So, in this case, will be bird. So, we can connect the clip segment to the mask preview node to see the mask. And because we only want to affect on the background and not on the character, we will apply the mask with the invert mask node and connect the inverted mask to the IP adapter. So, we queue prompt to see what we got, and now you can see the mask, and we have a nice bird portrait. Let's change it and put a dog. We have to change it in two places, on the batch clip, and on the text input. So. I think that you can have a very good result if you pay attention to the choice of a few elements. Like the checkpoint, prompt if you choose the right word and make it simple. Then wait, in the IP adapter, these are the keys of a good image generation. As expected, the mask prevents us from surprises and unwanted effects, and we have enough control. So, well, in order to make this workflow automatic, we can only choose the character and everything will work. We just have to replace the character both in the clip segment and at the prompt. We will start with the prompt. We will search for replace, and this is the node we need, text find and replace. So. We will connect this to a text input. So we search for a text input. I choose this one. Then, we will copy the text input. This will be our variable. So, we will change the replace text to an input by clicking right and select covert into and desired input. Then we have to connect all that nodes. We will connect everything to some show text node. It doesn't matter which one. Then we will copy the prompt, the positive one, and paste it on the global road. I make some change on the prompt. It's because I add the variable input. I name it character X. We don't need to put a negative prompt for the moment.
So, write character X in the find text replace node, and don't forget to convert the text on input and connect it. and wheel. Check if all connection are okay. Please do it like me. Then, let's make a test, and see if everything works. I choose to prompt a parrot for this test. So, well, it seems to be okay. Alright. Let's queue prompt. And that's the beauty of Comfy UI. You can automate almost any idea work technique, and build many software that will produce the desired results. So, I hope you learned well, and we will meet in the next video. You are of course welcome to ask questions, subscribe to the channel, and like if you liked it, and most importantly, have a big fun. So, keep in touch. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.